Greetings, friends. It's me, Wayman. And I just wanted to come on and do a quick video. Getting ready to go camping. Love camping. But, um, I was reading the book, uh, The Social Animal. Uh, I'll post a link to it uh, down below. You, you can take a look at it. And there's a lot of things in there that I'm finding really fascinating. Uh, it's a social, social uh, psychology textbook. Um, we do this kind of stuff every day. I, I just didn't realize the terminology uh, to go with it. Uh, and, and I'm finding out some fascinating stuff. And looking back and thinking um, about it, how it pertains to uh, literature and biblical literature and even ideas of the fall and the supposed choices that uh, Eve made uh, when she came in contact with the serpent. And it just made the whole idea of it fascinating, uh, simply because there are some who believe parts of the story was written uh, much later than supposed, and some believe maybe uh, it was written right around the Babylonian time period, which, which means that this story could be in some ways retaliation to the Babylonian culture. Uh, but, but also there's a whole lot of other things wrapped up into this. So, <clears throat> if you want to get a person to do something, uh, or have, or not do something, uh, you tempt them a little bit, just enough not to, uh, so, so they can build up tolerance, so to speak, uh, towards not doing that, or obeying a law. And I think it kind of backfired uh, here. Because I, I think that in Genesis 3, uh, when the serpent talks to Eve um, and asks her about the fruit, uh, he gets his foot in the door and he asks her. I, I guess I'm like a Baptist minister. I, I guess I'll just read the text here. But uh, Genesis 3, 1, out of the uh, new uh, Jewish publication society, Tanakh, uh, the translation. Now the serpent was the shrewdest of all the wild beasts that the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Did God really say, You shall not eat of any tree of the garden? And the woman replied to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the other trees of the garden. It is only about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden that God said, You shall not eat of it or touch it, lest you die. So already she added some. She put a hedge. Now it's, God never said she couldn't touch it. It said not to eat it. But Eve says she can't touch it. And the serpent said to the woman, you are not going to die. But God knows that as soon as you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like the divine beings who know good and bad are opposites. When the woman saw that the tree was good for eating, and a delight to the eyes, and that the tree was a desirable as a source of wisdom. She took of its fruit and ate, and she also gave some uh, to her husband, and she ate. So, so here, she had, she had cognitive dissonance, a uh, huge uh, conflict uh, on what to do. She had internal and external justifications for doing what she did. She had to play it out in her mind. Then she had to pick one. Uh, a lot of times it's found in studies, uh, reading the book uh, Social Animal, I learned this, studies that were done on reward and punishment. And the harsher or the greater the reward, uh, the more people want to do the uh, thing that uh, is uh, prohibited. Whether uh, the extreme word here it was death. Uh, they constantly think about it. Uh, they're more than likely, it's found in, in human nature, uh, to want to do it. Minimize the reward. Minimize the punishment. Some uh, people uh, are less likely to always want to do that because they dwell on that less. Uh, they've done studies with kids uh, dealing with test scores and things like that. Uh, it's, it's very fascinating. So people like to reduce dissonance as much as they can. It makes them feel uncomfortable making decisions. But here, uh, Eve believed that eating of the fruit uh, had a much bigger reward in her eyes uh, than the penalty of death. 
which is fascinating. And, and I think here uh, she became conscious at this point. At the point of dissonance, uh, making the choices, uh, that's when consciousness was born, uh, so to speak, according to this uh, this text. So I, I find it interesting. And that could be saying a whole other thing, too. Battling assimilation. You want to tempt your people just a little bit, but not enough to get them to leave. Not enough to get them to leave to the Babylonian Empire. Uh, huge temptation, assimilation. Judaism is always afraid of who they're going to attract and who they're going to, uh, who their people are going to leave to. So, I don't know. It's it's very fascinating, and uh, I really enjoy thinking about stuff like that, both on the psychological level, uh, with these kinds of uh, pieces of literature, out of the engineers, and, and other pieces, especially with Homer too. It's amazing. Tons of tons of this stuff in in Homer. Uh, the epics of uh, the Iliad and the Odyssey, and, and even uh, in the Neid. Uh, beautiful. Uh, Epic of Gilgamesh, even. And the choices he needs to make that affect his life, and uh, how he does it, and what he becomes conscious of. Uh, it's pretty amazing. So, uh, if you think about it that way, uh, here, uh, the temptation backfired, um, and it appears that the divine maybe didn't really understand his own human psychology that he created in some ways. And maybe this is a direct statement to uh, those who thought about assimilating and, th and those who have. Uh, once you leave the garden, uh, you can't necessarily get that back. Uh, once your culture is destroyed as a people, uh, you can't necessarily get that back. Uh, and also... Um, maybe some ideas about short-term and long-term decisions and uh, maybe about going against authority sometimes uh, to better yourself in some ways uh, of having choices and also uh, about compliance. Do we comply because of rewards and punishment or because we understand uh, uh, what the results are or why we're doing it. I think that's a big issue, especially in Christianity. You gain heaven, you burn forever in hell, but the concepts of it are lost um, because we're doing it for rewards. Uh, we're doing it to not get punished, moreover than understanding uh, certain concepts that, that need to be uh, dealt with. So, I don't know. What are your thoughts on it? Feel free to comment and be well. And remember, everybody's thinking alike, and somebody isn't thinking.